Hello and welcome to week 7. This is Ludmilla Adams from FashionChalkboard.com. You are watching one tip of the series 52 weeks of fashion sketching in Adobe Illustrator. And this week we are going to learn how to create a brush that will let you create a box pleat skirt or use the box pleat in any manner that you'd like. And you're going to learn how one component can be changed into other brushes so that you can quickly create a little bit of variety there. Remember that you can download the flat sketch in the free member area at fashionchalkboard.com. The link is below the video. All right, let's begin. So let's analyze what is coming in the file so you can take this apart. And another thing that I want to hint at really quickly is that there is certain things that are a little bit more unfinished and problems that could occur. So I'm giving you guys a couple of hints. I'm not going to demo how to fix it all. It's just some idea. So for example, here, these are two different brushes, even though it looks the same. And the reason that it works out kind of nicely is because the bottom here is straight across. And then the second example, you can see that the skirt on the right has a little bit of a gap. So I'll give you guys a solution what to pay attention to when you have a brush that's a little bit more on the angle on the side. And then the third one as well. You see how there's a tiny little gap here. So even though once again it looks like it's the same brush, you can see as I jump around, or once I click here, it jumps from one brush to the other one. And I named an incorrect copy, incorrect copy. And this one actually has a clean finish on the side and I have that in the example. Okay, let's begin. So the very first brush that I created is right here. And when I take this apart um, in my direct selection tool, and I click on these components and pull them apart, you can see how it's literally just three little pieces. And they all started off in the same way, which is a rectangle. So I'm gonna just click and drag with this rectangle and then right away what I can do is just make a copy with option drag. Kind of put this over here. This one in the center. I just take my direct selection tool and activate the path. So make sure the anchor points are open or white. And I move this up a little bit. And then I take my add anchor point tool, press on the path, move that down with my arrow keys on the keyboard. And then use my Convert Anchor Point tool and pull on this a little bit. Oops, just like that. And then what I can do is so that I have a continuous um, color to color in my box pleat, I have to open this up here. So what I do is I take my Direct Selection tool and click on the path. Make sure your anchor points are white or open. And then I press Delete. So that opened it up. If this happens to you, if you click on the path, or you think you click on the path, and all the anchor points are solid and you press delete, the whole thing disappears. So just pay attention to where you're clicking and this should work out for you as well. All right, so once again, anchor points are open after I click and then I press delete. And then I can click on this, right click, transform, reflect, and press copy. And then with my arrow keys, move that copy over to the other side. And then all I did is click on the centerpiece. And if your rulers are not available, press Command R or Control R. And you click and drag to pull out a guide to kind of see where the center is of the centerpiece. And then what we do is we just hover on these centerpieces here, click and drag over these anchor points. And I'm just moving these over like that. And the opposite here, okay, move this over like that. So if my guides under view are not locked, I can just go ahead and select this guide and press delete and it's gone. All right, so this is perfect. I can just take this, grab it, drop it inside of my brushes. And then it says pattern brush down here on the bottom. That's what I'm going to check. I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to ignore the outer tile and I'm just going to press OK. All right, so let's test this out. All you need to do is draw a line. You can use your pen tool or just the line tool and then press on that brush that you just threw in there. And that looks nice. 
to make it into a skirt all you would have to do is just add an anchor point in the center move that anchor point down and then curve it with your convert tool and it's your anchor point tool now it used to be your convert tool so i have to get used to that and you can see how that's taking the shape of our skirt here you can see something called expanded outline stroke only so what this means is that some of these parts are literally just three pieces and each piece has a simple fill and a stroke and then these parts here if i take them apart you can see how there's a piece that has just a fill and if i double click here into my group there's a piece that actually has also just a fill which is weird, right? But it's because I expanded it um, so that we can avoid some of these gaps. Now on the straight part, like um, the flat edge that we have here, it's really easy to just leave it with the stroke. But when you come at an angle, I'm gonna zoom in with my magnifying tool. You can see here, right here on the bottom, how the color is actually in the center almost of the stroke. So as a comparison where I expanded it, see how I can reach and make it all flush at the edge? So that's the advantage of expanding it. So if I click here, you can see that's my um, expanded stroke, so to speak. And I can move this and kind of make it go wherever I want to. And that will help me avoid some of these gaps that could be created, as you can see on this lovely example right here. Okay, so let me just show you quickly how to expand and then we're done. So all we do is create pretty much the boxes that we created. So like this one was created in the same way. And I'm just going to ungroup this for a second. All right, so when I have this piece right here, all I need to do is go to object, expand, expand the fill and the stroke. And then once the fill and the stroke are expanded, you can ungroup this one more time here like that. And then when you can take this apart, you can start pulling on these anchor points. So click one of these anchor points, pull it right here. Maybe move this one back. So you can see how easy it is to arrive at this result. Couple more quick tips. Let me zoom out right here. I gave you guys pretty much all the different widths, but try to play around by just simply changing some simple things. Like you could change the length of your skirt by simply clicking on top of your anchor points and just moving them up or down and then dragging them into your brushes and create a new brush and try that out. So you can do a mini skirt a really long skirt that way you can make the box pleats wider press on one side count how many steps i click and then i do the opposite or sometimes i just click on one side and then reflect and copy to the other side so however you can make the left and right the same and then i had spoken to the fact that some of these skirts are unfinished so sometimes i mock it up and i just simply take um, a black stroke and I would just draw a simple line and then I would group this on top of the actual skirt, make sure it's the right stroke or point size rather. In the future, I will talk about how to create a brush that has multiple components. So for this here, you can see how we usually use the side tile and then you can add a starting tile and an end tile. And that's what I did for the third example. So I'm just gonna let you guys take it apart and. You can do this by clicking and dragging, pulling it out and analyzing it that way. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you get some inspiration to play around, change the color, make it wider, make it bigger, make it shorter, whatever you need to do. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to the video, maybe hashtag flatsketch52, what you created with this. I would love to see this on Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.